anyway, uh, where I'm going with this is is that is that the new universe started. It was two years before our 25th anniversary. And uh, there was a meeting called by the uh, public relations lady, and it was all the vice presidents. I was the vice president. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so we're going around the table trying to come up with ideas of what we can do about our 25th anniversary. And we're getting these genius ideas like, oh, well, maybe we could have a coffee table book. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, finally, they come to me. And uh, my first thought was something I proposed to DC back when Jeanette Kahn took, took over, proposed essentially the same idea. Um, it was, I said, in January, we announced the end of the Marvel Universe. I said, it's over. And I said, we tell everybody in the last issue of all these Marvel comic series is going to be number in June. All right. Oh and then we build to that and we count down to that. And then there it ends in June. In July, we launch new number ones. And uh, what we do is we keep everything that's good, all the same characters, keep everything mm. that's good, and just don't put in all the stupid stuff. Mm. Because, I mean, if you read enough Marvel comics, you know that that uh, uh, Iron Man was created in the Vietnam War era. Mm. Reed Richards fought with the French underground and yeah. in World War Two. I mean, a lot of stuff just doesn't work anymore. You it was know? getting impossible, wasn't it? Jury, everybody gets yeah. that uh, immortality sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Infinity just, Formula just, all round. Yeah. Oh, and then there were stupid stuff like Bill Mantlo once had a rocket take off. There's a big cloud of smoke, and when the smoke clears, there's there's no rocket. It's gone. He said, well, what they did was they pulled the floor out from under the rocket, so the blast didn't have anything to push against. I said, oh, science says you're wrong, man. <laughs> oh, how did you do uh, Anyway, Jerry Conway had Hercules tie a chain to the bottom of Manhattan, Manhattan Island, tow it out to sea. <laughs> science says you're wrong. That doesn't work. Jerry. <laughs> then later he puts it back using the same chain attached to the place, and now the battery is in the Bronx. <laughs> you know, are you kidding me? I, you know, brilliant. it's a lot of stupid stuff. Get rid of that. <laughs> you know, get get rid of that that stuff. You know, and, and just keep the good stuff and and start again and and do it up to date, modern, mm. and better. The first real so, reboot. So, really, so that yeah. was that was my first proposal. I mm. was shouted down, man. The salespeople mm. are losing their minds. I, <laughs> it's not broken. Don't fix it. We're out selling DC almost five mm. to one. What's yeah. wrong with you? You know, <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. So I said, okay, it's, it's to celebrate the birth of a universe. Let's let's build another one. Mm. And they say, whoa, I like that. You know, yeah. I said, great. So I walked out of that room with a quarter million dollars of development money. Wow, it's a little company, it's pretty good. That's and cool. I had uh, guaranteed royalties, uh, a, a, a big marketing budget, uh, uh, everything I needed. You know. Because mm. you, how are you going to get Walt Simpson to leave Thor and do something new unless you yeah. can guarantee you won't lose any income? All right. Mm. Mm. So we we were gone. About two weeks later, I'm called to the president's office, and he says, "He says that budget you have. He says how much have you spent? I, said, I don't know, ten thousand dollars or something." And he said, "Don't spend another penny." I oh said, no! What? What do you mean? Well, he and the other. Board, Cadence Board of Directors had taken the company private, and these six guys, they had seven, they got rid of them. They had six guys who owned Cadence Industries, the parent company, and they had decided to sell Marvel, cash in. Ah, we're right. so successful. And of course, they've never opened a comic book. They think it's a fad, it's hula hoops, who knows? Mm. So, so anyway, I, I said, <clears throat> you don't want me to do it? And he said, oh, no, you just have to do it on staff. And so if you look at the credits for the New Universe books, You'll see my name and Archie's name a lot, and you'll see a lot of assistant editors, the only guys who were able and willing to stay after work and help me for free. Wow. Okay? So yeah. <clears throat> Archie was spectacular. He's what a genius. But uh, uh, so so we basically were doing it on, you know, on the cheap. We 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 didn't have uh, big money. We didn't have guaranteed royalties. So we're basically getting artists who basically, who more or less, they were, they were the only reason they worked for us is because they didn't have a, any other work that week. Mm. The reason Star Brand was as good as it was, and the reason it had world class art, 
Mm. Because John Romita Jr. came into my office and he said to me, uh, he said, I, I, he's, do you have anybody to draw your book yet? I said, nope. He said, I want to draw it. I said, John, it's idiotic. I said, <laughs> this is doomed to fail. I said, they took away all our support. I got nothing. You know, I said, you, you're on good stuff now, Iron Man, X-Men. I don't know what he was on. Mm. I said, you have to give up something. That's that's crazy. You're making good money. You know, stay where you are. Mm. And he said, I want to draw your book. Oh, I said, him. I said, well, you're out of your mind. And he said, I'm going to draw your book. And I said, hey. <laughs> no, not taking so no doing it for me as a favor, you know? Yeah. yeah. And that's a big favor. He's given yeah. up. Yeah. He knows what money. Well, I think he was on Uncanny X-Men at that he, time. He, I think so, he was, yeah. So, so yeah. then he, then he, then the, later that day, I get a call from Al Williamson. And Williamson says, hey, I, I hear JR is drawing your book. I want to ink it. I said, wow. oh, you're just crazy. <laughs> what a legend. But the, crazy or not, on on um, Starbrand, we had world class art. Yeah, and and did. so and I did the best I could, but those those guys just knocked that out of the park, and they they did a tremendous job. And uh, and some of the guys that we got for New Universe it turned out to be stars, but they were new mm. at the time. Mm. Will Sportasha yeah. was a new guy, you know. Yeah, I remember uh, Ron Lim was on there, wasn't he? New yeah. guy, you know. We you know they they didn't have all their uh, feet under them yet, and. Uh, so we did the best we could. That was, that was also about the time I was out of there. And, uh, you know, it, it, it gotten ugly when they were trying to sell the company. It got really ugly. And it, it, I made them fire me so I'd get my severance pay. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and you've got to be careful, haven't you, in those situations because you can end up with nothing if it all goes wrong. So you've got to. Yeah. Well, I got my, I, at least I got, uh, I think, four months of severance. So. Cool. Yeah. I mean, it, it must have been hard, actually, because you'd built so much. Yeah, and, they, and, then they're, and then they're destroying it because when they started to yeah. sell the company, they're trying to.